we've listened to so many women that, like Jean said, they really didn't even know they were persons, let alone women. And uh, Jean wrote a blog, it's in, the, it's in the chat, about the patriarchal silencing of non-state torture war. And it, we do believe it is a war. If you look at all the millions of women, really, around the world, women and girls who have endured non-state torture, it's really quite shocking to think that they've really still, uh, most organizations consider state torture much more prevalent. And when they talk about state torture, it's primarily talking about men, men in warring, men as prisoners of war, men in embassies, men in, uh, tortured by the police. And yet we have these millions of women. If you look at one third of the uh, world's women and girls suffer physical and sexualized violence, well, we've learned that non-state torture is a form of that sexualized violence in families. And uh, child brides, 650 million under the age of 18. All those little uh, children being uh, forcibly uh, raped as uh, child brides. And 15.4 uh, million forced marriages, non-consented. Then you have FGM, which is recognized as a form of non-state torture by the United Nations. 200 million of, of those. Uh, prostituted women who come to us and describe the prostitution uh, torture that they've endured. We were just talking to a woman from Italy yesterday and she listed off all the different things like caging, shackling, electric shocking, um, gang rape, forced abortions. Those are all forms of torture that we hear about in all the different uh, areas of, of relationships. Pornography, it's not, we have how many women are involved in pornography, millions. So you can only imagine how many are enduring the torture porn. Uh, 40 uh, ritual, widow rituals, 40 million uh, in, in 2012. Uh, acid burning, 80% of the women of the uh, acid burning is uh, women and that's 1500 yearly. 71% of women and girls are uh, involved or the slavery are, are women and girls and slavery is a form of torture. 